Good evening, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 7.36 on the last day of January. So a few for the 1st of February and hopefully we can have as good a month as we had in January because it wasn't too bad. We had several winners. Um, we had one today. Carbon King got it done today. It just shows you how unlucky he was the last day. Um, let us down for a pot of money because we're doubles and trebles and whatnot with him. And uh, he got a bit of a bollocking because he hopped out in front today. There was nothing going to be in his way. And you could call him a winner, bear a fall after nearly half a mile. Um uh, so hopefully he's going to make a smash and chaser uh, that lad. So he might win again. He'll probably get a bit of a, a, a hefty rise. But uh, then we had Castle, Castle Russian. He was beginning to rush a little. I'm not sure would he have caught uh, the one that was front because he was galloping relentlessly onwards. Uh, but what I do know is that if he didn't win it, he'd be in second. I would have had the reverse forecast. and probably pay about 10 to 1. Uh, he just didn't... Uh, he jumped a bit novicey in a few spots. Um, and he got a, sort of a sympathetic journey the last day. So they'll have to do the same nearly again the next time. But he's a good old engine, but he's just, just a novice. You can expect that. But to the pity that he didn't stay up and we'd have seen what, uh, what would have happened. Uh, and at least we'd have got our forecast up. But anyway, what can we do? We can pick them out, but you have to do their best for us. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we we'll start with the first one. Uh, where are we? The 2.25. IDs picked out. They're, they're actually, the three of them, this as a uh, seven-year-old mayor. Rose Dobbin trains it. It had a good run at two and a half miles. Two runs back. And the horse that won has won twice since for John Joe O'Neill. But ran on well. Advance on the bend towards home. With three to take. That's with the white face and about fifth. Jockeys. Handicap hurdle. Here is the Moutier who's always been out in front, leading narrowly on the bend for home. From excellence in second, Blue Shark is still travelling quite well to the outside of Coup de Goal. That third and fourth, Azza is a pushed along fifth. Azza in turn then clear from Brickadank and King's Justice. This is three from the finish. Over in front now, excellence has come three to lead up. Blue Shark appears to be full of running towards the outside. Here is the Moutier, now drops away under pressure. Azza trying to stay on, and then came Coup de Gold. This is two from the end. Excellence and Dara Davis led, but a slight error. Here comes Blue Shark to the outside. Jamie Bray still looking quite confident. They're racing down towards the final obstacle now. Blue Shark and Excellence over together, but it's Blue Shark who's travelling a lot better inside the final furlong of Blue Shark. Now begins to pull clear. Blue Shark by four lengths over Excellence in second. Then Azari staying on back in third. And heading up towards the line, Blue Shark will follow up the recent false last win as he takes the opener here at Newcastle today. She stayed on well the last time, but as I said, that horse that won has won twice since. And then the last day, the step drop, she ran on that day and you say, yeah, she's definitely one that you want to step her up and trip. And then she ran the last day at three mile and she absolutely hosed up. It was the same jockey as well and this was a conditional race. Thanks he was carrying Johnston three pounds. The light blue colours to He'll the outside of seven those. tomorrow. Braganza Bay was just about in touch from Phantom Ass who's trying to make up some ground. Under pressure the wise traveller is sticking on to his credit towards the far side as they head towards the third from home. Towards the near side, first man with young Maloney. Then comes Rickety Gate, still moving well in third. Ours are now shaken up for the first time, but he's still going there well with the white face. Ours is now making good headway as they head towards the second last. Towards the stand side, it's first man by about a half length to Ours in second. Rickety Gate now asks for the effort. Here's the second last. Oh, Rickety Gate, a heavy fall. 
Rickety Gate was into third place with every chance when taking a, a heavy tumble there. They head down towards the last. Here comes Arza now produced on the far side, but first man is not stopping for George Cowley. Is sticking on. These two are now well clear of Young Maloney and the Wise Traveller. Here's the final flight. Arza now let loose in front, shot the last really well, and Arza is now beginning to quicken up best and go clear of first man. And then staying off in the back is the Wise Traveller goes into third ahead of Young Maloney, but Arza out on her own here. It's going to win for Rose Dobbin and Dylan Johnston. They're going to win in great style too. Won by 20 lengths. But she had actually won. Uh, she's back against her own sex as well tomorrow. They were up against the, the boys. But she had won a pint to pint. So the, the three mile for Jim Draper in April 21. So the step up to three was always going to suit. Uh, I thought she'd be at 15 to 8 was the forecast, which is shorter, 11 to 8. But I thought that would be a win bet tomorrow. And at the 3.55, another horse at a trip, Broadway Joe. Uh, this one, a pint to pint. No, it has three runs. Uh, there's another one I had. Second to authorised speed, second uh, to let's have another. Went off even money first time out, so they thought a lot of it. But it ran in uh, entry. And I thought at the time, because uh, it was the weekend we were in uh, Fairy House, and I had tyre kicker backed that day. I was a bit disappointed that she didn't win it, because I was saying it wasn't a great race. But what it proved was that Broadway Joe wanted to step up and trip. The one going away. And Brandy McQueen has won since. And Tire Kicker has won two chases since. Uh, so I thought uh, with, the, with the three mile tomorrow as well as slightly raced. Uh, Farmer's Gamble is probably the obvious danger. Uh, Skelton's going pretty well. But it's it's uh, there's a live chance that I thought as well. And in the in the bumper there's a mayor here. Uh, chalk that down. It'd be getting the seven pound tomorrow, but uh, it's a big strong mayor. It was second first time out, and I thought she might benefit big time from the run. She sort of died in the last couple of hundred yards, but she looked all over a winner coming up the straight. Glow fetching yourself. And don't you want me to the wide outside as they approach the final bend, the last half mile. Fox's fancy in the mainly red colours trying to get into it, but off the turn, Blue Baloo has now been sent on. Blue Baloo, Ryan Mania goes on. Chalk that downs in second place. Luna Reefer under pressure in third. Then don't you want me, followed by the staying on Fox's fancy. Luna Glow, fetch yourself. They've gone clear of the weakening Lactara, heading down towards the last two and a half furlongs. Blue Baloo in front, Blue Baloo. Blue is the target for Chalk That down to aim at A gap then of about four or five lengths To Don't You Want Me Inside the last quarter of a mile Blue Baloo, Ryan Mania And now Chalk That down has been asked a serious question By Brian Hughes A few lengths away is Don't You Want Me He's trying to stay on A furlong left to go And it's Blue Baloo in front By about two lengths Trying to hold on to his advantage From Chalk That down Who came to the dance And is trying to deliver It's Blue Baloo from Chalk That down down in the run to the line. Don't you want me? Is back in third. It is Blue Baloo who will collect from Chalk that down in. The winner of that race had a previous run for uh, for Sandy Thompson. That was on Stevens' day or Boxing Day, and there is two horses in it, uh, Idem and one is Stuart Crawford. T uh, decent enough for him, Idem for Lucinda Russell and. Uh, I say nay for uh, Stuart Crawford. Um, but I thought with that run and uh, getting the seven pounds and Brian Hughes, I thought that would be uh, having a decent chance tomorrow. Now, I know the prices are sort of shorter than I normally would be picking. Um, so do a patent or a Trixie. I thought two to one. Well, they're not too bad. Patent or Trixie or, each, or a treble. Whatever, and uh, there's one bus horse for the lovers of the goo. I seen Anne Murphy asking, "What was the goo?"
person asked me that one time, and there was a smart arse beside me, and he said, it's what, on, it's, what, it's, what on, it's on the bottom of your shoe, the goo. But wanna be brave, done as a good turn, uh, tipped up at three to one, and it won at uh, six to four, yeah, six to four. Uh, the step up and trip had suited uh, both times there. Um, these bloody yokes that comes in. Pigeons, I'd have called them. But it don't, it don't, uh, it won't, it, well, it, it only won't be a neck, but uh, that should have a good chance tomorrow night of following up. Uh, slightly raised and it's very well bred out of Fastnet Rock and out of a Galileo Mayor. Uh, only rated 68. So you'd be hoping that that could go back to back as well tomorrow night. Just, uh, I seen a comment left last night by Anthony Nalen and he buried his best friend yesterday who was only 53. So condolences to you, uh, Anthony, and to the family of your uh best friend uh, just shows you the it puts things into perspective people design about harshes and this that and the other somebody dying so young so the important thing is to enjoy life while we're in it because we won't be here forever so uh, someone said about mentioning the leprous town yes we'll be getting to it later in the week I'll be going the two days uh, tickets got for it and we will see some people I've no doubt uh Passengers on the bus we might make a meeting point after the first race both days uh, out near the uh, sandling enclosure uh, that we can meet because the chance there that to bump into each other with such a big crowd won't be possible. Uh, so maybe there's a security play or inside the gate on the Kiltern in, or in the far end, not the Dundrum in the other end, up near the sandling enclosure. And we might be able to meet there or something. But I'll find a place anyway. I'll let you know later in the week. Patch the bookies over and out.